Hi again, boys and girls, Phoenix Fire here. Today, a fast paced narration against Fluxstatic. Channel link at the bottom. We both wanted to try out some random RU sets, so we smacked a couple together and gave it a go. Nothing too fancy, especially in terms of Steam Synergy, but an enjoyable match nonetheless. Boat players gear up for battle and unleash their Pokémon! Fluxstatic deploys Hitmanchan as I display Kabutops. Counting on the fact my foe might overpredict a switch, I take the first blow and dispense my stealth rocks on the field. As Punch delivers tremendous ruin, I can confidently assume the opponent is choice mandate. Lacking any specific fighting type resistance, I contemplate my options and decide on Mandibus to shield myself from its destruction. Unfortunately, the adversary switches at as well, unleashing Electrofire on the terrain. Preparing my swift recall, Fluxstatic suddenly withdraws as well, catching me by surprise as Gligar is sent in. Deploying Duck Trio to trap the foe's Electrofire, it's now facing down another inauspicious foe. Unable to act against this bat-like creature, I am forced to swap out once more, this time into Lilligant, while the enemy lays down Stealth Rocks, inflicting harm every time I switch combatants. Feeling confident the enemy won't dare stick around this turn, Fluxstatic hauls Gligar out for Electrofire, as I order Lilligant to dance its way to perfection and increase her abilities, providing me a distinct edge over anything I might face. Having invested quite a bit in bulk to endure blows while I work my Pokemon, on up. The foe actually retreats once more, revealing his special orientation. Unleashing Embor to the battlefield, I once more improve my stats with Quiver Dance to jump ahead even further. Unable to continue my course of action, I charge forth and launch a hidden power attack. Insufficient to subdue Embor, the muscular swine propels itself forward and hits Lilligant with superpower. As the HP keeps dropping the defensive train, pays off and allows Lilligant to stand its ground. As I extinguish Embor for the match, the first blood is drawn, and the score stands 6 versus 5. Eagerly desiring retribution, Fluxstatic lunges forward with Hitmanchan. Having little chance to obtain more boost, I press on, but I'm stopped cold by an agile Mac Punch, eliminating Lilligant and evening out the score. Knowing the foe is left shut in this paltry move, Manibus takes flight once more to exploit it. As my opponent is forced to shift out into Altaria, I neglect my offense and shave the enemy. Expecting an easy opportunity to set up, Altaria unleashes a most terrifying attack in the form of Draco Meteor, catching my Pokémon completely by surprise. Left broken, Mandibus obtains its nasty plot, something I reckon it won't be able to utilize for long at this HP. As I relinquish my Pokémon and await the inevitable, Draco Meteor connects once more, yet against all expectations, Mandibus hangs on and is able to unleash a diabolical Dark Pulse, repaying the damage wrought in full. Predicting my adversary will want to cash in on this easy prey, I compel my Pokémon to roost to sustain itself against the upcoming onslaught as Gligar dashes forth with Stone Edge dealing only pitiful damage with my flying-type Shed. Believing Gligar might have a last utility move up its sleeves to counter me, I command to brick bat my foe, as Fluxstatic quickly changes his game plan and goes for Hitmanchan. Unsure what it might lock itself into, let alone take any of its blows with this random team, I remain in as Mandibus is vanquished by Ice Punch, setting the score to 4 versus 4. Seeing the opportunity at hand against this choice Pokémon, I hastily position Kabutops to clear the foe's stealth rocks. Uncommonly enough, Hitmanchan continues the barrage while I am able to clear away his hazards, providing my team more breeding room. Healthy enough to endure another blow, I move forward as my foe exchanges his Pokémon for Gardevoir, allowing me to land a hard hit with Stone Edge on this frail Pokémon. Even with little to no attack investment, it is still able to mortally wound the enemy. Fearful of the Thunderbolt attack, I direct my Pokémon to lash out for a final time with Aqua Jet, stretching its abilities to their limits. Unable to deal enough damage, my opponent refrains from finishing me off just yet and wishes to regain HP. Not taking any chances, I strike a second time, but I am halted by Protect, allowing Gardevoir to mend most of the damage inflicted earlier. With few options left, I continue on until all strength to fight escapes me. In a turn of events, Gardevoir is prohibited to attack, as Hitmachan is fielded anew. Unsure of this particular style of play, I quickly execute another Stone Edge attack, dealing hefty injuries in the process. As I rapidly try to fire off another speedy Aqua Jet, Hitmanchan demonstrates its quicksilver reflexes and lands a Mach Punch first, annihilating Kabutops and lowering the score to a disadvantageous 3 versus 4. Confident my Zep Strike I can take a single priority attack, I instruct it to take battle stations and hopefully vanquish this menacing fighter. 
As the foe pulls back, Hitman Chan and Forbes front with Electrifier, I swat down his creature which return instead, delivering critical damage and setting the score to 3 versus 3. Not taking any chances, Flux Tactics Gligar reappears to stem the tide. As I'm left powerless against this physical defensive Pokemon, I interchange my beast for Porygon Z, which achieves a special attack boost from its download ability. Abnormally enough, the foe continues to double swap his fighters out, unveiling Gardevoir to face off against my unit. Keen on giving the enemy what for, I repeat my early tactic and blast the enemy with my chilling attacks. Seeing the lackluster harm inflicted, the two combatants are more than a match for each other. With a wish established, I can only watch how the foe seals the ritual with a protect. Although I'm dealing less damage than Gardevoir can recover, I shall not give the foe any quarter! I beam full power! As the terrible blow hits the weak spot for massive damage, I'm able to muscle through the special wall after all. Launching another ice beam allows me to seal Gardevoir's fate, tipping the scales in my favor. Three versus two. As the fighting terror called Hitman Chan rears its head once more, I must secure my Porygon Z to combat the foe's Gligar. Considering my options, I am forced to let Dark Trio go. With my fighter throwing itself in front of the enemy to safeguard my chances of winning, the score stands at 2 versus 2. Determined to not let this sacrifice go in vain, Substriker sprints onto the battlefield. As I prepare to launch a quick thrust, Fluxstatic cushions it once again with Gligar. Although blocked off for now, his lacking strength can be capitalized on. A fast exchange for Porygon Z puts me in an ideal position to beat my opponent to the finish. With the end drawing nigh, the foe's final and most detrimental Pokémon to my team is fielded for a last time. As my computerized animal is slain by a swift mark punch, it is once again able to demonstrate its ferocity. Bow down to the wire, Zip Striker blitzes forward with quick attack. As the assault proves to be sufficient, the match ends in a narrow one versus nil. That was the fast-paced narration for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. Currently working on some more teams in the meantime, mostly for ELO's tournament and the UU tier. Not sure when I'll be able to finish those, but when ready, you'll definitely see them in future videos. Until next time, Phoenix Fire signing out.